the tattoo originally looked fairly decent, but a day later, all the ink started to rise to the skin. From what I was told from other artists, it was just the skin was overworked, so yeah. the skin couldn't take the ink. The last thing I would want to do is provide you with a traumatic experience. And this thing, obviously, <laughs> yeah. is something that you're not happy with. Oh, yeah. I'm super grateful to have a chance to come back. I wonder who else is here. Brandis, welcome back. Your artist was Mystical Mike. Yes. Mystical Mike. I could be on the top with my superior knowledge in biology. Would you be interested in doing a G clef with the muscular tissue exposed in the negative space? That's actually really, really cool. I was pissed. The healing process was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt. Oh, wow. He used a liner needle instead of actually using a shading needle for well, pretty he, much the whole tattoo. He only had one. It looks like somebody stole your liner. I only had one machine to work with. That's insane. Once it finally seemed like it was fully healed, it was blotchy, color was gone. Oh, it really? It was just garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> That's never a good. If you ever came across Mystical Mike again, would you confront him? If I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I probably would punch him in the face. Yeah, my work cut out for me. We don't want our canvases unhappy. So we have an artist standing by in the shop that's willing to work with you. Idea's all yours. She doesn't know Mike's here? You get to look at the design, and if you don't like it, you can walk. I'd love a second chance. We'll head into the shop and meet him. How far can I push the limits? Who will get me to my limit? I'm feeling very nervous right now, but... I'm glad that Ink Master's actually giving me another tattoo after having to deal with Mystical Mike. Oh, no way. Hola. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> Do you know how bad I want to punch you in the face right now? Mm, what'd you get? You got yourself an add-on over there? Obviously, Got you're the it. one that commented on my Instagram post saying that it was terrible. It's apocryphal that you should let your body be adorned by someone else without consulting me first. It's disrespectful. It's I disrespectful? Your body completely. I understand it's yeah, your body exactly. completely. Yeah, exactly. It is my body, which means I can do whatever the hell I want with it. That's totally true. You destroyed my arm. It was blotchy. It was scarred. It didn't even heal after a month. Are you freaking kidding you me? You should be more patient when it comes to the creation process of art. Patience? Absolutely. I had to get everything worked over. That's hurtful to me. Like, where's the honesty that we had for you to be like, hey, I'd like to do some extra <laughs> Do you think we could do some I more stuff? I asked you, and you ignored me. I didn't I get the message. I messaged you multiple times. I didn't times. get the message. You I, messaged I wish me I did. back. Guys, Dave, <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going so great. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. I know this is hard for you. OK, listen, I do have another solution. There's another artist here who's willing to work with Mike, tag team style, to make sure that you get the tattoo that you want. And you can still say no. I can't do it with him alone. You'd have to be crazy to think I'd even let him touch me again. All right, buddy, come on in. Oh, oh this guy. <laughs> Jimmy Litwak, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Much better. Much, Much better? better. <laughs> uh. So Jimmy has agreed to work with Mike together to give you the tattoo that you want. I promise you I will do everything in my power to make sure you walk out of here extremely happy. I trust you, just not you yet, but... It's cool. I respect that. I don't need any help. I'm obviously one of the best artists in the world. Are we all good? I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Tag teaming a tattoo with Mike isn't the worst thing I could ever think of but it definitely ranks right up there. I want something to commemorate my wedding. The theme of it was lovebirds, and my favorite flower is a stargazer lily. Kind of thinking of something like, you know, base the flowers mm -hmm. on the bottom, then maybe the birds behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jimmy in there, but I'd like to get a little bit of me in there. Like something like this, I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing. 
the detail may not be appreciated visually in the totality of the piece. You're talking English, man, but I don't Sorry. understand what you're I, saying. Like, if you're coming into it with doubt, that's not going to give her any confidence. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of doubt from her, and too, it's hard to build myself you, up. You, from you should feel doubt from her. <laughs> this is your redemption. It's all I'm trying to do is make up for my past mistakes right now. Please, just give me that chance. I'm, I'm trying I, to. I, I apologize for not having a better vocabulary or a system of tools to better communicate with you right now. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this moment. That gives me a chance to prove myself from all the inconsistencies and irrational behavior that I had, and just maybe there's a chance for me to redeem myself. What's going on, gentlemen? All right, let's take a look at this design. Mike, do you want to present this to Brandis? OK, yes, I do. There are the two uh, lovebirds to represent your marriage. And that floating bow on top? That would be the tying of the knot. Wow, it's definitely more than what I was expecting. Kind of a backhanded compliment. Didn't <laughs> expect anything that great, but then again, she likes it. Jimmy, you have something you'd like I to I do. Would you care to see what Jimmy came up with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two similar takes on the same idea. Yeah. Totally different schools. Do you have a favorite? My honest gut feeling is Jimmy's. You can see how that looks like a complete circle versus floating. Do you want to get this tattoo? Not if Mike does the whole thing. Well, this is a tag team design, so Mike will be tattooing you. But you also have Jimmy present and tattooing as well. Half and half. I'm willing to give Mike a chance if Mike goes first and Jimmy follows up and finishes up. I'm very grateful that you're going to give me an opportunity. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Good luck. I'm going to make sure it is the best tattoo experience of her life. I'm going to make her eat all those negative words she said about me. Why did you line those leaves? You didn't want to line the leaves? Is it in the color? Mm, no, it's not. Some of art's biggest mistakes could be some of life's greatest accomplishments. This girl doesn't want to hear the word mistake in her new tattoo. You feel the uh, there's a difference between me and Jimmy Styles? You were just going really slow. That doesn't mean go faster if you're not comfortable going faster. But... Oh, no, I am. I was making sure it was more and more on, on your level of comfort. So it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a selfish prick, but. I don't know. For a tattoo artist, I feel like you can't be selfish. Oh, no, we are very selfish. What? Tattoo artist back home that I've been working with is not in the least bit selfish. Well, that's why I'm on Ink Master, and he's wherever the he is. Stop for a second. Can we just stop for a second? He's stressing me out. I, I really can't have you here anymore. Mike, his biggest problem is he can't communicate. He's combative. If he's learning anything today, I'm hoping he learns how to communicate. We're creating an experiment of beautiful energy and chaos on your arm. And this it's a, is not beautiful energy. This is it, negative. It, I gave you a chance, and then you made a mistake because you didn't follow directions. I'm passionate, and I love what I do. And it's becoming now more insulting to me to sit here and try to convince you otherwise. You and always it's, have something to say. Because I have something valuable, and it's worth it's saying. It's not Because no one has the balls to say it. That's why I say it. People need to hear it. Walk away and just be gone. <clears throat> yep, better keep walking. Unbelievable, man. She's not letting me finish my piece, and now I have to come here and redeem myself because she has no respect for me? Oh. You really wouldn't be open for him to doing anything left on this? It's still my arm, you know? What if I left something that's not a Everyone maybe deserves a second chance. Here's your third one. Don't up. Just hold on one sec. I'm thinking. If you would be willing to finish the tattoo and do the sky, then I would be willing to let you do it. This way, we can each have our closure. It's very, it's very generous of you. Finally, you let me come in to finish you off in the last 15 minutes. If it lets her sleep at night by letting me do the sky, I hope she does. All righty, we're all done. We'll take a look. Yep. It's nice to not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Wow. Are you happy with the outcome? Very happy. 
I love my tattoo. I love everything about it. Musco Mike, I definitely don't want to ever see you again, but Jimmy, I would love to get a tattooed from you again. The most important thing is that you're, you love your tattoo. That's all I cared about coming back here for. I'm just happy that Brandis is happy and I don't ever have to see her again. I don't need redemption. I'm a great tattoo artist. Thanks, Jimmy, very much. All in all, when I look at this tattoo, I'm happy with it, but there is no way that I would work anything artistically with Mike again. Another happy customer, finally. Brandis redeemed. What do you think about that, huh? Didn't see that coming. Ink Master helped build my name, so now I have a reputation to maintain. If there's a client that didn't like something that I did, I have to make it right. Can't leave people just out of sorts. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What did your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he does. Like, exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know, like, how open he is to hearing, like, that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it, or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more on there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man. I got to show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm, like, torn, because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover-up of a cover-up. Okay. If there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to be. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers. I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous, though. No, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you, and 
You nervous? How do you feel I am. about I'm this? still a little nervous because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say it can only go up from here, yeah. but I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready, yeah. All right, buddy, let's take a look at this. This is the rough colors. I didn't sit down and Sharpie paint everything in, but... Wow. Tell me how this is going to cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green is going to be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. But a lot of your work that I've seen can be, like, not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All right, yeah. good luck, Thank Steph. You. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's going to cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't, like, make it fit. Like, no, make sure it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't want to have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But, like, I'm also second-guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah, nah, nah. No. I mean, I'm going to look at it. Of course. OK. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at stencil. OK. So, OK, so wait. This here, this is just going to be the shape of the shading? Yeah. OK, perfect. Trust me. Very nice. OK. We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now, All right. hop up, take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! Oh, 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 it's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover-ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. No. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, you well done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. All right, guys, take care. Oh, I'm nervous. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back. So, your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Or? Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow, too. This isn't going to win this challenge. I want to walk out of here with something that. You know, I'm going to want to show off to everybody. I want to you with my designs. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I got to make sure this is something I want. <laughs> what happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his 100 grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised, and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, 
maybe square, whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven 100 times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother This is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. You want to be a dick? I'm sorry. Did you apologize for causing me a $100,000 loss? First off, I didn't do a loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my $100,000 with you, what there was I no way I was going to do a tattoo that was When they what? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it, that was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. You me. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you, you I compromised with you, and you still you gave me compromised? Trouble. You compromised? You expected $50,000 so that you could get a tattoo you. First of you. Out of my face. I ain't going nowhere, right? this is my you shop. Kyle ain't got to do shit. I'm a goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead, go. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you'll learn to swallow that pride. Suck my All right, my day is done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in the situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. How are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother Camilla, good to see you again. Your artist was Julia. Yes. Today, you must tattoo an animal. We got this. It's coming out great. You don't have any areas of soft, smooth gray. You don't give it that realistic look because it's incredibly dark. I know how my gray washes, and I know how it's going to lighten up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How long what have you been mean? tattooing? Five years. So you have no idea what your heel tattoo is going to look like in 10 or 12 years. I ask for an, a portrait of an elephant, okay. and I end up getting an uncircumcised dick with one ball. And you don't want that? No. <laughs> what don't you like? Right now, how it heal is just it's smoke. It has no strong lines. There's no eye. I voted my tattoo as one of the worst tattoos. You did. The placement is so off because that when you turn your forearm, like I just your have arm a big isn't ear. like this all the time, and when you turn it, there's just a big ear. It only looks right from one point of view. That's the reason why I think she should be in the bottom. She knew what she was doing. She just didn't care. You know, she just wanted to do the challenge and forget about it. You know that I have Julia here in the shop. Do you see look me? It. You see me right now? This Does it look is, like I give a I have to Does deal it with. look like I give a Do you want to go have a chat with her? Yes. Head on into the shop. It upsets me because you think about the whole experience and you want to be proud of it, but I don't even talk about it. I just wish it never happened. Just look at it. Clearly, yeah, it, it, shows, it shows in your tattoo that you don't give a It shows in your face that you're just a douchebag. Hi. So, what's up? Look. I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I post that on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're going to come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Julia, you're a fake ass bitch. You Who are ass. you? Oh, the candy ass. Yeah, the candy ass. Yes, yeah, it smelled like diarrhea the whole time. Oh, God. Look for your breath you and your stink ass bull. You had no experience tattooing a dark skinned woman, now did you? Um, no. Actually, and oh, I tattoo shit. dark skinned people a... all day. Right, which is why my tattoo is. Is this all this like... bunch of attitude? Which is why you can you all kick overwork rocks. my skin and left sore on kick my rocks. ass. No one else here seems happy That's with the that you've presented them with either. Are you happy? Absolutely not. Were you happy? No, you absolutely not. This Why are you attacking all of us? What, ha what happened to that voice? To what happened to that, oh my god, you know, everything's gonna yeah, be okay. Yeah, my voice is good till you come and f with me. What happened to that? You guys, hold up, hold up. What's going on? Well, you know, get up tattoos. It's not just one of us. What, three of us here? The fact that I'm here, it's because I think you can do a good job, even though you up the job you did. I would love to And do... I walked in and you were okay, screaming well, at me. Look. Even her little it's squeaky voice changed now. She speaks normal, apparently. I get in mom mode when people piss me off, <laughs> and then I get the mom Guys, voice. Let's, let's stay at the issue at hand. Sorry. I don't like seeing people unhappy, but I also don't like being attacked. You know what I mean? At least give me a hello first. We'll work it out. 
you confront me with attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back. I came here to make things right, so whoever wants to make it right, I'm down. Let's start over. Julia is saying she's willing to make it right. Who here is willing to work with Julia? Not after she yelled at me for no reason. So you're done? Mm-hmm. 100% done? 100% done. Good luck, guys. All right. My name is Frank McManus. I was on season three of Ink Master. I'm here to prove myself to other tattooers that think I suck just because I'm a young kid in this industry. Execution-wise, with a single needle, keeping it thin and going a little lighter would have went a long way with this tattoo. Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think they made the wrong call. Getting kicked off the show so quickly made me realize that I became too comfortable. So I moved from Pennsylvania to San Francisco to challenge myself to grow as a person and an artist. I want this redemption because it's a second chance to prove who I am and what I can do. I'm ready for this this time. Feels weird to be back. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to make this happen. Fred, welcome back to Ink Master. And you brought your girlfriend, Darlene. Yes. Your artist was Frank McManus. Yes. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass-looking design. What do you think about this baboon thing? You can't even read what it is. I mean, this outline is chaotic. And this is a rough one, man. The detail just does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's the tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> When he first finished the tattoo, I thought it was OK. After I got home, it just scabbed up. It was horrible. And you yourself said, why did you put the chin where his nipple is? He has a nipple growing out of the baboon's chin. That's not how they look in the wild. No, they don't. The tongue is the worst. I didn't really notice it until it was one of you guys said it. Said, the tongue looks like a nutsack. And that's what he and said. And then I looked at it, I was like, wow, it does. <laughs> that's, that's not good at all. Darlene, what do you think of the tattoo? I think that it's ugly now. Did you yeah. think it was ugly then? Well, it was vibrant when it first got done. But as it healed, it was unrecognizable. Are you going to make sure this doesn't happen again? I'm going to try. All right, Fred, I got Frank McManus in the shop. I want you and Darlene to head in there and let him know what you think. You guys okay. down for that? Yeah. All right, I'm counting on you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Head on in, guys. I'm embarrassed of this tattoo. Nobody ever once said, oh, that looks nice. I just can't wait to see this guy so I can get this off my chest. Because I can't get this off my chest. Where is he at? There he is, right there. I trusted you, man. Tell me what this looks like. Tell me what that is. Does that look like a baboon to you? Still looks Seriously. like a baboon to me. It looks like an alligator with his mouth broken open. This is supposed to be a like masterpiece? A yes. a That's masterpiece? looks like a nutsack, man. This is horrible. I'm not in my own why, 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 Frank why, with the bull violin for you? Oh you're, my God. you're a professional, man. You gotta do your job, man. I'm stuck with this forever. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thanks. And I'd love Thanks. to make you both happy. And I know I can do that. I'll let you check out the drawing first. I'll work with you. I don't think so. What do you think? First time, shame on him. Second time, shame on you. That's what I think. I'm telling you, I can make it happen. I doubt it. I don't want you to do this again. The whole thing was a nightmare, Fred. Guys, darling, bring it in. Come here. What can we do to make you happy? Ultimately, Frank is here for redemption. Yes, 100%. We want to make you happy. Are you willing to consult with him? Let him draw something, and then if you hate it, you walk out of here. What about that? That can't harm anybody. Check out your sketches. Want to do that? He's the yeah. ultimate, well, he makes the ultimate decision. Actually, I feel that you make the ultimate decision. Am I right? I just get nasty when it's not the decision I want. Oh, it's OK, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We don't commit until the machine goes into the skin. Walk out of here anytime. OK. All right, brother, good luck yeah. to you. Thank you, man. All right. I'll make you happy, I promise. We'll see. What do we want to do this time, man? I got her sign on this arm. I'll see if I get mine a nice, gnarly Capricorn. OK. It's a goat now. Not a ram. Oh, right, right. Go, go. You don't want, like, anything around it or no, any... No, no, okay. no, Frank. Don't start getting creative. Flat, easy. Don't get anything really hard. Yeah. I can do hard. I can I'm do hard. I'm scared for you to do hard, Frank. I like that one. You really gonna do it, huh? Maybe. I wanna see what his drawings look like first. Then we'll decide then. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. Dude, thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> Only for the moment, friend. <laughs> you want to trust this guy? I just want to know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. You really like Fred, don't you? I don't want to kill him anymore. 
I think he might do good. I don't know, Fred. That's why it's called redemption. Let's see if he can redeem himself. I want this one right. I can show it off. Me too. Don't make him nervous. I won't make him nervous, but I will be critical of what's going on. I really want to show people who I really am, what I can really do. But I have an uphill battle here, man. I got to make both of them happy, especially her, because he's listening to her. She's intense. She's real intense. Frank, bring it down, bud. What'd you guys talk about? Getting the Capricorn symbol on my arm. Capricorn's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I want the, the astrological okay. Capricorn. The astrological one has a tail on it. All right, buddy, let's take a look at what you came up with. So yeah, it's uh, the goat body with the fish tail. Is this the astrological one? Mm-hmm, yep. I have a weird looking sign there, friend. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlene? You look skeptical. Uh, I am very skeptical at this point. That tail, that concerns me. Why does that concern you? It's a little too involved, and I'm a little concerned about his ability to detail. She wants a regular goat. Why don't you guys have a chat and talk about it before you make any decision? What do you think? The tail is a little fishy. You like the tail? It's a little mermaidy, right? Yes, it looks like a, a mermaid with a goat head. I don't like it, period. You don't like it? Yuck. If he makes changes to it, we'll see what happens. We talking about somebody who jacked you up already. You don't have I, to get it. I know, I don't have to get it. You don't want that. Guys, what is happening over there? You guys seem heated in debate. She doesn't like it. I think the tail is too much, Dave. Well, I reacted too. I was like, that is weird. But that's what they look like. I don't, you know, you can't argue with that. Can he have a twink to his liking? You can make any changes yeah. you want. The tail is a little too mermaidy. Yeah, ah, it's really standing out. The tail, I keep looking at it. I can do a new tail for you so you can see. It's ultimately whatever you want. Yeah. Big decision. It sounds like a few tweaks and you might be ready to go. This is his choice. Um... So is this a green light? Are we gonna move forward? I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, buddy. Good luck. Let's go back to the shop, man. The tail that I wanted, it only has two pieces that just goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use this, but I'll just draw in the two pieces. OK. Yeah. Let me see. It doesn't look bad without the yeah. tail. I'm serious. Yeah, it looks kind of hot without the tail. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm telling you, Fred. It seems like that tail should be like right here. So you get an idea of. Ah. I think it almost has just to be. Just do the body, Frank. We know down you can do more that. And yeah. And, could you, it'd be down more and... But please don't get the tail. Don't put them under any added pressure. Just get the body. I want the tail on it. We can buy a tail. It's my arm. And if it's wrong, you're going to be miserable. A Capricorn's a weird animal anyway. So if the tail's going, so what? I'm always right, Fred. Just don't get the tail, I'm telling you. I'm getting the tail. Get the bulk of the tattoo now and wait on Zip it. Let me handle this for a minute. That's why I'm here, to help you handle it. Yeah, it's just, if we keep with the tail, man, it's going to be all out of balance. I'm glad you admitted it now. Don't overdo yeah. your what you can't do, right? Yeah. OK, we'll go with El Capitan over there. Thank you. And the hooves, I want them to pop. Yeah. If I wasn't here, Fred would have came home with that tail. Take a deep breath and push. <laughs> Please don't add any nuts to my Capricorn goat. No balls on the goat. But man, I'm so good at balls. <laughs> I haven't gotten a tattoo since the baboon incident. Since oh, yeah? It kind of scarred me. I really want to make it right, you know what I mean? And really, really show everybody what's up. Should you know? uh, hop up, check that out? Nice, Frank. Yeah, you dig it? Yes, I like it. I love the detail in those horns and the fur and the scales. Love the eyes. Yes. And it's a little goatee. Did a great job. Thanks you for did. not beating me up. Capricorn. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Most importantly, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? I think that removal of the tail was better to go with. I love how the swirl is, and I love the horns and the goatee. Oh, he redeemed man. himself, man. How does that feel for you, man? 
It's a huge relief. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's off my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> I got my redemption. He's super happy. She's super happy. Thank God. Take it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. I knew you could do it. Yeah. I just wasn't so sure. Right. It right. is really weird. So your artist was Steve Taft? Yes. Why are you here? Because he gave me a tattoo. What? A cover-up is one of the most difficult tattoos. I'm telling you straight up, this can't be covered. I am so screwed right now. I'm gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life. It is not possible. Okay. You know, I got 100,000 on the line. I know. I get that you're competing, but this is my life too. What are you unhappy with? It feels very unfinished. It's very hard to make out what it is. Exactly. And he has a really angry looking face. And now it's faded and my old tattoo is coming through. You would think that he would have been able to do a little bit of a better job. What do your friends and family think of this? My family hates it. My poor mother. What does she tell yeah, me about what mom says? She, mom said, why would you ever do that to yourself? I mean, a lot of people would be really psyched to have an Ink Master winner tattoo. Right, if it was good. You know, I have him here today. Really? And he doesn't know that you're here. What I'd like to do is give you the opportunity to confront him, and then, if you guys squash whatever issue you have. Steven could drop another design for you. You don't have to get it. Right. You just look at it. And that's only if you want to see it. Steve is waiting in the shop. Why don't you head in and meet him? All right, thanks, Steve. All right, good luck. Today is all about a new tattoo and a new shot of redemption. However, what you guys don't know is that there's another artist here who wants to call you out, Steve. Wants to go head to head with Steve Teft. Awesome. Any idea who that might be? If I had to guess, I would say Sarah Miller. Sarah, come on in. <laughs> Hi. What's up? So I want to get a little grudge match going on. Absolutely. Redemption's on the line for you, Steve, because we have an unhappy canvas. Right. Sarah, redemption's on the line for you because you lost. Yeah. Let me explain to all you guys what I'm proposing today. We're gonna do a blind design. Both Sarah and Steve will design for you, and you can get one of those tattoos. You just won't know who designed what. Or you can hate them both and walk out of here. Are you down to play along? I'm down. Let's do it. It's like a throne. Yeah. <laughs> and you are the queen for the day. Tell me about yourself. Very adventurous. Okay. Uh, let's have a good time. OK. <laughs> what are you interested in? I would go in the flower direction. OK. Is there a type of flower that you like? I like lotus. So. OK. So what I was thinking was a flower kind of like underneath like moving water. Oh. And a bright sunset inside it. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited about this. Thank you so much. Not a problem, honey. OK. OK, tell me what you're thinking. I love flowers. I'm not Any particular so much... type of flower you I like want? hibiscus flowers, like plumeria. I like um, lotus flowers. Are you opposed to faces? Any yeah. particular animals? Dragonflies are cool. Not really. OK. Do you like vines, leaves? Yeah. Filigree, you know that nice? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah. I'm getting somewhere. Right. My work cut out for me here. Yeah, well, I gotta, that's you know... the idea. I truly believe that Gina is more in tune with Sarah, maybe gave her more information than she's giving me. It's definitely gonna suck that I come up with this great tattoo design and Gina don't pick it. I want her to choose my design. I want this shot at redemption. I wanna be able to say, you just got beat by a girl in a dress, baby. Guys, come on down. How you feeling? I'm confident. Really? A lot of pressure's on you. This is all about you calling him out. What makes you think that you can take him out now as opposed to on your season? I have done nothing but grow since I finished, and I was already a powerhouse then, and I'm a little bit more of a typhoon now. All right, guys, so I'm gonna grab these books from you. Gina, why don't you come on in here? What I got. Okay. How did it go in the consult with these two? Felt like I connected with Sarah a lot. Steve, on the other hand, I'm not sure that he really understands what I was looking for. All right, you ready for number one? Yeah, I'm ready. Here is design number one. Wow, beautiful. Colors are gorgeous. It's what I was looking for. Here we go, this is design number two. Wow, that's very nice too. This wave, that's very cool. And the flower too is beautiful. I'm kind of surprised. I thought I'd be able to tell the difference in who did what. I don't think I can tell. Do you want to get one of these designs tattooed? Yes. 
and whoever drew the design you chose will be doing the tattoo. Be prepared to take that chance. Yep. Which design would you like to get tattooed today? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. The creator of this design is our own ink master, Mr. Steve Taft. Wow. <laughs> now, Sarah, this has got to be a bittersweet pill for you to swallow. We're all here because you called us out. That is true. No matter who tattoos, we were both able to do great designs. Well, Sarah, it's always lovely to see you. Thank you. Steve, congratulations. Now all you got to do is not <laughs> it up. Even though Steve won this blind design, if we were to do a tattoo, I think I would have crushed him today. Until we actually sit down and do two tattoos side by side, the game is still on. It's been three years, kid. <laughs> Can't believe this is happening. Here we go there, kiddo. Hi. Okay. I definitely think you helped me win $100,000 because you knew I was really like stressed out thinking this tattoo could send me home. And I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted to, but you helped me make it happen. All right, I think it's time to yeah. take a look. I love it. Awesome. Good job, man. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's beautiful. Same page this time. Most definitely. <laughs> I'll be dragging my ass back here for this. Steve, Gina, that's a genuine smile. I'm really it happy is. this time. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to ask, redemption for Steve Teft. Absolutely, without a doubt. Steve, congratulations, dude. Thank you. I knew I'd get my redemption, and Sarah Miller once again came in second. Sorry. This is what happens when you call out an ink master. You get perfection. Junior, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was Saint Mark, correct? Today, you must create Egyptian tattoos. I gotta hurry and get this headdress done so I can get onto that snake. This is exciting. Looks like a damn picture. This looks real. I remember you looking at it going, yeah, man, this is the Pumped, it was you darker. You so happy. Yeah, it was dark, it looked real good. It looked like it had lighting on it. It's faded now, yeah. it looks like it's 50 years old. It's not crisp. It's not crisp at all. The detail's not there, it's, just, it's a bunch of black. I'm pissed. He was really good at making me feel comfortable. How long have you been tattooing? 25 years. 25 years, nice, man. That's a good thing, that's a good very thing. Very confident. Keep... Right, right, right. You've got one of the strongest players in the whole house. Nice. Yeah, they're very afraid. He does talk a good game. I don't want to say I'm embarrassed, okay. but, I mean, because I was an ink master, I was able yeah. to, you know, meet people like it's you. It's still a cool experience. Right, still a cool experience. But you got to live with it. Experience doesn't outweigh something I have to have on my arm for the rest of my life. Exactly. You know, if I want to wear a short sleeve or take off my shirt. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to be like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, <laughs> no, nothing's over here. As you're watching the judge's commentary, does your heart kind of sink into your stomach? You need to put some details in the snake. In the beard, you could have lined that out and put some more sharp, crisp details in there. This kind of tattoo is kind of the absence of detail. I saw your guys' criticism was, I'm like, damn, he's right. Given another session on this, I really think it was some, some added contrast and saturation. I think yeah. we can make it pop. I need it to pop, man. I need it to pop. It's on my body. I want him, for one day, just say, you know what? Enough with the antics. Let me sit down and give this guy a great tattoo because it's me. I'm the one leaving with the tattoo if I decide to get it. I want to see you put it together first. OK. I appreciate you giving me a shot at doing that. I think this tattoo looks great already, but I'm going to take this great tattoo and I'm going to knock it out of this universe. I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't think this guy's going to pass up another chance to be tattooed by me. Guys, what's up? St. Mark, come on back. Tattoo God. Behold. So you're going to offer Junior a reworking. I wouldn't say it's so much a rework as like a, a finishing session. OK, really. so you admit that it's not finished. Well, there was a time constraint. And I, I admit that if I would have had more time, there definitely would have been more, more happy. You want to see what he came up with? Sure, let's see. What I would like to do, essentially another pass of texture and detail that we just couldn't get to the first time. And I'd like to add some, some motion and fill your arm up. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What's this Danish look well, I'm here? I'm gonna like crack the, uh, like crack the statue it. up, yeah. And then, is that an addition right here? I thought maybe like a glowing eye of Rob might, might okay. be something to set it off at the top of your shoulder. So, is that white in there? 
I would like to plan on doing some, some white highlights for sure, just in small areas to kind of definitely give it that crisp pop that I think you're looking for too. We're gonna have a lot of black pushed into, into the, like around the face that's just really gonna make that, that energy pop right there. If I may, it doesn't look all that different than what's on his arm. Well, there's, there's nothing really about the tattoo I have to correct. So what do you say, man? Are you thinking about getting this? We got this, me and you. Uh, so you can take an out of focus King Tut and get it slightly less out of focus. I can't get it to be as black on the paper as I can right, make it course, on your arm. Of course, of course. But, uh, of course, but yeah, I, I think uh, a good dose of black will uh, will take care of it. I know that redemption's on the line for you. I know that line work isn't something that you love to do, but I need you to use whatever it is in your forte to make this tattoo pop. I will do my pop. best. I'll incorporate some lines. You want to make it right? I do. Let's do it, man. All right, thank you. Let's do it. Thank you. All right, looks like we got a deal. Have at it, guys. Am I crazy? Or does that look exactly like what's on the guy's arm? He's taking a blurry King Tut and changing it magically into another blurry King Tut. This is crazy. All right, time to check this bad boy out. This looks crazy, man. I like the detail now, man. Yeah, the black really made his like face it. pop out. It looks bold, you know? Definitely not afraid to show this off now. I might wear tank tops again, That's you know? That's what I want to hear. Say Mark, Junior, come on over. Junior, what do you think? I love it, man. Yeah? How do you feel? I'm really, I was worried at first, but I'm glad I came Why back. Were you, I've never seen you worry about well, anything. Well, I wasn't worried about making me happy. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a given. But I wanted to make him happy, and I think I succeeded. Let me step back a little bit, because you know what's crazy is it really does read from here. Okay, the black really makes it light up. I got to be honest, I was concerned. I was I, concerned, too, to be honest. Well, I mean, I thought he was just kind of doing what he does and, like, just kind of making another version of the same thing. He listened. You know, he asked him if he could just yeah, make it no bold, doubt. and he listened, definitely. He added to it, as you can see I, on I top. I got to say, this up here looks, it just sits really nice. I'm loving it, man. That sounds a lot like redemption to me. Yeah, absolutely. Junior is now leaving with an even more badass tattoo than he had before. Another canvas has been blessed by the touch of the tattoo god. Raymond, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was Lydia. Yes, she was. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a scorpion or a tarantula. I hate well. spiders. Please tell me that you do not want a spider. I do. Oh my God. I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. Are you nervous at all? Not at all, man. I was no. an army it's ranger not. for a while. I'm like super yeah. nervous. Really? Are you nervous? Yeah. That's crazy. I think she was in over her head. I just reassured her the whole time. Normally, it's the other way around. The artist will try and make the canvas exactly. feel better. The tattoo originally looked fairly decent, but a day later, all the ink started to rise to the skin. From what I was told from other artists, it was just the skin was overworked, so yeah. the skin couldn't take the ink. The last thing I would want to do is provide you with a traumatic experience. And this thing, obviously, <laughs> yeah. is something that you're not happy with. You know I have Lydia here. If you guys can squash this, I'd like to offer you a rework of this tattoo. Maybe get it covered with something else. That sounds good. Why don't you head in there and have a chat with her? OK. Have a seat. Talk to me. What's going on here? Well, that's what happened. It was overworked. It was cold, dark, and they had spiders there. I'm petrified of spiders. This is kind of putting me in a whole pattern because yeah. I can't do nothing around that. I want to get tattoos done, but I just didn't know what to do with it. What are you thinking? Do you have any ideas? I have nothing on my body that says I was a soldier. Some of the things, you know, I thought of was like a soldier with um, half a face and then half a skeleton inside the helmet. A helmet here actually would cover that up. This show's a little less stressful, so it wouldn't be like a stressful thing for you again, right? I'm not trying to make excuses. Here in the now, in the moment, I would love to make it right. During the competition, I was pretty stressed out and anxious. I kind of got a little bit of artistic block. I don't feel that I showed what my art was all about. So I do want this redemption really bad. Lydia, come on down. What did you guys talk about in terms of a new design? A soldier um, in a helmet. Facial. Sticking in a military theme. Yeah. So Raymond, you want to take a look at the design that Lydia came up with? I do. Let's take a look. You wanted a soldier with a half skull face. I put the American flag in the back. 
The helmet is actually what's gonna be the cover-up, so the spider's gonna sit in here. I'll have to put it on your arm to see how it looks and how it flows. I wanna make it right, I want you to love this tattoo. That kind of looks like the vision that I got in my head. This is totally up to you. You wanna get this tattoo, or do you wanna get out of here? I think it's something I could wear. That's a for sure yes, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> How's that feel for you? It feels awesome. Why don't you guys get to work, and I will check in in a little while. All right, cool. I really want this thing to come out great because Raymond spent a lot of time serving this country, and the guy deserves a great commemorative tattoo. OK, well, I'm going to get the stencil on there and see how that goes. That's great. I think that's it. Check it out. That is killer, boy. My favorite part is just the face in there. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, look at me. I've got the goosebumps just talking about it. It's awesome. I love it. Million dollar question. Did I get my redemption? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank it you. makes me so happy. It feels great that he loves it. My experience this time around is amazing. There's less stress. I can actually be an artist. There's no time limits. I'm leaving a happy little girl. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you. Mark, welcome back. Good to see you. Nice to be back. Your artist was Randy. Yes. How did that tattoo go? Not so well. <laughs> Not so well. Today, you must create an aquatic tattoo. You said a sperm whale? Yeah, sperm whale and a giant squid. I'm technically a kind of more of a, a portrait artist, so photorealism. Um, is that what you were kind of looking for? Were you looking? Space, yeah. Very cool. The massive fields of color are not saturated. It is saturated. When I say the word saturated, I mean when this heals, that color is going to be smooth and even. There is no chance that that is what you have here. How is the tattoo healed? What does it look like now? A lot of blue splotches. The whale itself it just looks like some just gray splotches along the back. You can't even see the little fish that he kind of threw in there. They just look blended into the water. How did you allow this to happen when you saw the design? All I saw was the stencil. He didn't show me a pencil drawing or a color drawing. It was just a oh. stencil with just lines. And he said, you want to do realism. That was his style. When an artist says they're good at something, you usually follow what they're best That's at. Right. So you end up with a good tattoo. I have Randy in the shop. I would love to invite you to go into the shop and have a chat. Tell them how you're feeling. Sounds good. People actually noticed me on the beach with my shirt off multiple times. And we're like, oh my god, you're that guy with that tattoo. That sucks. It's something I have to remove, and it's money, and it's painful. He needs to just own up to the fact that he didn't do a good tattoo. I went to realism for you. It doesn't even look real. Wow. It's flat. The colors didn't pop. All that blue washed out. It's very splotchy. Um, it didn't heal well at all. I was under a lot of pressure, and I was really nervous. I can do a better tattoo than what I gave you. Fixing it putting a new one on. I would like to redeem myself. It's not fixable. I can say that that was probably one of my worst underwater scenes I've ever done. And to be honest, I wouldn't let you tattoo me again. Really? I appreciate your honesty, though. All right. I'm pretty blown away. If that's the way he wants to do it, then let him get the out of here.